Okay, so in this part two of our uh, presentations on how to draw a roof plan, I'm going to show you how to take the plan view that we did before and turn it into our elevations. So let's have a quick look at the rules again. Main rule that's going to worry us this time is that a ridge always has to be level. Another thing we need to remember is when we're doing these elevations, I've already put some baselines on these drawings. We're going to assume that we're standing at this side of the roof and what we see on this side of the roof is what we're going to draw on our baseline on this side. And similarly here, we're going to look this way and project what we see from here up onto this baseline. So with that out of the road, I'll just make some room and we'll get started. Okay, so the first thing we need to do, we're going to produce this elevation just going to project all the main points of the roof up onto the baseline. So the outside of the roof, the actual where the hips meet the ridge, and the other side of the roof, project them all up. While I'm doing that, I might as well just do this direction as well. Okay, so we project them out onto our baselines so we know where they uh, where they line up. The next thing we need to know is the actual pitch of our roof because we have to draw in that angle. So in this case I'm going to use 30 degrees so that line's at 30 degrees and I'll start with this hip here and it starts there so I'm just going to put that angle in there and so we go up the hip what do we find? We've got our ridge go up to there we can draw in our ridge, remembering all ridges are level. And our ridge comes along and it ends on that line there. And pretty simple to see now that all we have to do is now go from our ridge back down to our baseline and fill it in on the, on the other side. And we've got our roof shape for that elevation. A fairly simple process. Right, let's just have a look at the other end now. So remember, looking from this side, outside, we've got our ridge line, we've got the other side. So, once again, we need our roof pitch. Thirty degrees in my case. And we'll move that over there and line that up where the hip meets the baseline. So one hip's going to come up from the baseline to the ridge there and obviously it's going to go back down on the other side. Okay, so there you go. That's the basic process of developing our elevations from our roof plan. Let's move over and have a look at our more complicated example. Exactly the same process. Remembering, we're going kind to of do this one to this elevation we're going to be looking from this side so we want to make sure we get all the points that we can see from this side so let's do why is that not working okay so we've got that one we've got our ridge line there Okay, pick up that ridge line or that intersection there. We've got outside of the wall there, outside of that wall there, end of the ridge there, ridge line there, and the outside of that wall there. Okay, so we need our roof pitch. And I'll move that one over. So I've got this ridge, this hip coming up here. So I'll draw it in there. And then if I look down the roof, I've got a ridge line running back there. And then this one is heading down to a valley. Okay. So that means I need to have my angle going the other way. So 30 degrees in that direction. Move that over there and I'll join that at the ridge intersection. So that's the ridge intersection. 30 degrees going back down there. So 
I get to here, I've got a ridge running along there, so I can draw from there a level. Got a ridge running all the way across to that point there. And then from there, once again, I've got a, a hip running down to a valley. So I need my 30 degree line again. Running from that ridge down to that ridge line there. Right, so I'm down to there. And on this end, I'm going to see a hip running down there and a hip running down there. So that hip runs down to that point there. And we're going to have a hip running all the way through there. Back on this end, we're going to see a hip running from there to there. Another one back down to there. Okay, so we got that hip end here, is that one, that hip end there is that one, and the roof in between, represented by that. Great. Alright, let's go the other way. So we need that, we need that ridge intersection, that ridge, that ridge. Make sure I get that wall as well. Get that point. And we're going to need that as well. Pretty, pretty complicated in here. Remember, we're looking from this direction. So let's start with this side. We're going to end up with a bit of a shape like that. So we'll get our 30 degree line again. the outside of the wall, 30 degree line up, so that comes up to the ridge point there, and then it goes back down to this valley, which is going to be here, so let's get ourselves a 30 degree line going the other way, Okay, so that's going to go on there. Uh, and it comes down till we hit that ridge there. Ridge goes level, of course. It comes along to that point there, which is in line with that. Now, I've missed a line, so I need to put another line in there. And then I can just draw that straight down to there. Alright, might as well fill this in while I'm at it. That one up to there. That one up to there. Okay, so that gives us the shape of this roof, but because this side's bigger and it extends a little bit further out here, we're going to see that as well. So we need to then, let's get this 30 degree line. It's going to start on our baseline at this point. And it comes up to where the ridge meets, and we have a horizontal line going right across until we hit that part there, so that one there. Okay, and then the line actually goes back down to the valley, so it's going to go back down to that point, so that's all we're going to see. And we can fill this end in here as well. And Clean all this up. So that's what our elevation is going to look like at that one. So you can see exactly the same process. A little bit more confusing, but if you follow the process, remember the rules, then the shape will, will come out. Okay, so just to finish it off, let's have a look at our last shape. The one with the oblique end on it. Exactly the same process. Let's develop our lines up. This to work. Okay, we're going to need that point there, that point there. We need this one, especially important. 
and we need that one there. Okay, now with an oblique end, because these angles won't end up being 30 degrees, a little bit hard to start with those, so I'm going to start at this end with a 30 degree line, or our roof pitch, whatever angle that happens to be. Okay, so I'll start remembering we're going for this hip here. Put that under there. Okay, so it comes up and hits the ridge there. And then it goes back down to a valley. So I need the angle going the other way. Okay, so I'll put that on the ridge line. Uh, that comes back down to the valley. And the ridge starts on this point here. And it goes level across to that point there. Alright, so we'll just fill the rest of this end in. Up to there, back down to there. Okay, now with our oblique end, and again, I've forgotten to put in a development line, and new one there. Alright, this is where our hip end, our ridge ends, and our hip hits the uh, outside of the wall here, and the other one hits it here. So all we have to do is from the end of our ridge, draw a line down to that point, and another line down to that point, and that'll give us the shape of our roof. I've also got to fill in that one there. Alright, so let's clean that up. Okay, so let's do a quick check. Yep, I can see that end of the roof. I can see that part of the roof. And I can see that the oblique end on that way. So that one's okay. Right, let's just go the other way. All our major points. Make sure I get that one. Get that. 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 And a 30 degree line to kick us off. Alright, once again I'm going to start away from the oblique end of this hip down here. So it'll go in there like that. And it meets the ridge there, runs up till it hits the ridge there. So we've got that one and that one. And then this goes back down to a valley. So I need to get another line going the other way. From the ridge down. Okay, and then once again, similar to what we did on this side, all we're going to do from here is take these down to our baseline. And that'll give us a true representation of the oblique end. Okay, so let's do a check again. Looking this way, yep, I can see that there. I can see this side there. That's all I can see. That's, so that's our oblique end done. So that's it. That's how we develop our plan view and our elevation so we can see the position of our hips, ridges, our broken hips and our valleys.